This is the Pawn Employee tutorial for the online license application. You'll need four things. Your social security number, driver's license or ID, your company master file number, which your manager should be able to provide, as well as five-year histories of residence and occupation. Pause if needed. Before you continue, take these three steps. Create an account online at the website provided. Check your email to activate your account, and then log in. Here is a list again of the four things you will need to complete your application. And also, please do remember to take these three steps before continuing. Once you log in, this is the first screen you will see. Click on the option next to Pawn Employee License on the left. Then enter your social security number and click search. If this is the first time you've ever applied with the OCCC, click on create new account and then acquire new license under the Pawn Employee option. Enter all required information as indicated by a red asterisk, which will include your first name and your last name as it appears on your driver's license or ID, as well as your date of birth, whether or not you have a suffix, which is not required, but it is optional. Enter dates in month, month, day, day, year, 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 year format. Enter your social security number two times. Select the type of ID that you have, be it driver's license, state ID, visa, or passport, and then enter the ID number found on the ID that you have. For the issuing state, you can Double-click the letter T on your keyboard to get to Texas, or you have a drop-down option. The place of birth is to be your city and state without any commas. The email address is the one that is for you personally, as is the first phone number you'll enter. Enter your citizenship, and you've completed your personally identifying information. The remainder of the information on the page specifically as it relates to your company. Once you've completed it, click Next. This is where you will enter your five-year history of residence. Click Add New Record to begin the entry. The from date should be at least five years ago, and it can be further back. Enter the to date, address line one, and then the zip code. Click Tab after you enter the zip code for the remainder to autofill. Insert the record. As you can see here, we don't yet have five full years of history, so we're going to add a new record. Enter the from date, being sure it picks up where the last to date left off. This is the current address, so there will be no end date. Enter address line 1 and the zip code, then click Tab for the remainder to autofill. Insert the record. Verify you have five full years without any gaps in the history and click Next. This is where you will enter your five-year history of employment. You will include time spent as a student or unemployed. Click Add New Record. Enter the first date going back at least five years. The end date of that job. Enter address line one, the zip code, and then click Tab for the city, state, and country to autofill. Enter the phone number. If you don't remember it, enter fives. Enter your job title and duties, and then click Insert. Add new records until there are five-year histories with no gaps in time. Again, if you've been unemployed during any of this period, you must account for that time by entering it as a record. Enter the from and due date and the address line, the zip code to autofill, phone number, job title, and duties. Since you've already entered previous pawn shop information where you currently work, you will not enter your current employer here. After you're sure you have five full years of history, including time unemployed or as a student, click Next. The last part of the application is a questionnaire. You will need to pause the video to read each question before you answer it. For the purpose of the tutorial, I'll be answering the first question, yes, 
and all except for the last no to begin with. If you answer yes to anything other than one, you'll need to attach a document explaining why you answered yes. If you answer question one yes and all others no, you can simply click next. On the next screen, you will be given the option to pay for the application yourself or send the application to your employer. Speak with your manager about which option you should choose. Be sure you read everything before you click Next. If you selected Payment by Employer, the application is in the company account available for payment. If you chose Self-Payment, you'll be prompted to pay. After a payment is made, you'll need to schedule a fingerprint appointment. To schedule an appointment, go to occ.texas.gov, type the word fingerprints in the top right-hand corner, and click Search. The first link will be to a page with instructions on how to schedule an appointment. You will be emailed when your application is approved or if more information is needed. If you have any other questions, please visit us on the web at occ.texas.gov.